this is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com for the papercraftcrew.com. Welcome to my 6 a.m. filmed this video three weeks ago. Voiceover. We are going to be doing 10 and 20 using Every Good Wish stamp set from the brand new Stampin' Up! holiday catalog for 2017. On the left, Be Merry is going to be our outside sentiment. On the top, we're going to be using the warmest greetings of the season and every good wish for the coming year for our inside sentiment. And that little holly berry is going to decorate the outside inside of our card and I believe the envelope, if I remember correctly. There is our stamp set and that is the card that we're going to be making. Kind of tweaked it up a little bit Cindy way, but nonetheless thought you would enjoy it. We're going to be using the Bundle of Love Specialty DSP, and that is from the annual catalog. That is 12 by 12. Our cardstock is going to be Thick Fairy Vanilla. And I'm going to mix it up with some white too, which is something I normally don't do and I've never done before. It's too out of the box for me. But it turned out and it worked. When you cut your designer series paper, you want to watch the angle that you're going to be cutting it at. That is 12 by 12. All the measurements and everything are going to be on the blog and underneath the YouTube des description here. As far as, it's up to you which direction that you want it to go into. But how I have it cut is going to be divided up. So when you're mass producing, I'm speeding up a little bit now, you want to do it all in steps. Right here, I'm just showing you how I cut my cardstock. And I had five pieces, cut it all up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and score down the middle. We're going to be having a A2 landscape card that's going to, you know, fold at the top like I normally do. I'm not too big on the four and a quarter by five and a half size. I feel they get kind of floppy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and score everything. I'm going to grab my bone folder. And there's my crease line. And I've said this in other videos. Watch how you fold your cardstock. You want to pick it up, fold it back on itself like that. Give it a nice, good crease and just keep on going. So I'm going to stop this real quick and then speed it up a little bit more because we're just going to start going in and stamping. We're going to be using three colors only on this card, which makes it so much easier too. Now I'm going to be bringing in my guillotine trimmer, which is the one I always use. This is super sped up because I'm just going to trim the cardstock. That again is from the Bundle of Love DSP. That panel is going to measure five and a quarter by four. Since this is 12 by 12, I'm going to get six panels out of that with very little leftover, like an inch strip. And you just watch me cut it down. That's what I'm going to have left over. So I'm just going to cut the panels down now to four. And yeah, I'm going to get six. So to get 10 of these cards, I'm going to need two pieces of that cardstock, but there's a lot of other paper in that DSP pack that you can use as well too. So there we go. So there is my stack of DSP. Two different directions. Don't ask me how, but I am totally cool with it because I wanted to get the max amount that I could out of my designer series paper. So now after I've gone ahead and scored everything. I'm just now adhering the top. Or that panel to the cardstock. That's the direction I really wanted to it to go in all along, but like I said, I'm totally okay with how it all turned out. Okay, by now I have cut down my old olive cardstock to four and a half by three and a quarter. And then the Whisper White panel down to four and three eighths by three and one eighth. 
So I'm going to be taking that Whisper White using my MISTI tool since I am mass producing. Those are clear mounts, so if you're going to be doing that, you want to take out the foam pad. And I'm just popping it in there, centering everything up. I'm going to be grabbing my real red and then just inking it up, stamping it down. Now with this stamp set here, you can see it's kind of blotchy, so that's okay. It's perfect. It works out. I have a separate video on, I call it my steamroller, as far as using the brayer. I'm going to ink it up again because it's a little bit light. And I think after this I stop and then re-ink and start all over again. But that ombreish color, that's exactly how it's supposed to turn out. And it turned out pretty cool and it's going to mat beautifully on top of the old olive. So I did end up inking up. There are our mats. I have my adhesive ready to go, my brayer. I just inked up doing a real quick test run to make sure that everything is cool, and it is, so I'm good to go. I have my real red steamroller, and I'm getting great impressions, and you just keep on pulling your cardstock out, inking your stamp up, closing the door of your MISTI, steamroller, and repeat 10 times. And now that we have all of our stamping done, I'm taking my snail and I'm going to put our sentiment on the old olive mat there. I'm using my steamroller just to kind of give it a, you know, I'm erotic about adhesive. You guys know that by now. So I'm, to me, that's just like insurance to make sure that it stays down. So I'm going to keep on going here. Now that I have all our panels in here together, we're going to be taking that little holly berry and you're going to cringe. I cringe because this hurt. Look how close those berries are to the leaves. And I had to cut them out. I did not want to have to do any masking or anything like that. So I'm stretching the stamp a little bit, and I wish I was more in frame. I hope I am. There we go. So I'm just cutting that barely on the edge, and it, it works out. It turns out great in the long run. I can put it back together, and you can see it right there. I did have to grab my craft knife towards the very end, but it turned out perfectly. And again, I did not want to do any kind of masking at all. So there we go. And this is going to allow me to, with this, I'm going to use a block. It's going to allow me to just go through and ink up the stamps individually with the color and put them on the card front where I want. Here I'm trimming it up a little bit more because they are clear mount. I can't see through it. So I'm going to have to like wing it when I stamp. I'm going to go ahead and use the cubes. They're easier for me at this point in time. Once again, those images are supposed to be splotchy, so to speak, as well. And then I swapped out because I'm going to start marathoning it now. And I'm turning the stamp around, as you can see, and kind of alternating. And you just want to make sure that you keep that straight the entire time. And you're going to see me look a couple times. And I'm going to go ahead and get that finished up. Then we'll start on our little berry. So now that I have my little leaves stamped, I am putting my little berry stamp on a small block. I'll be grabbing my real red ink and with this here again I gotta be real careful and watch my position actually I changed my mind I thought I, I'm 
I would blow it in a second. So I'm doing everything up on the left. Then I'm going to come back through and do everything down in the bottom right hand corner. And a little mess up there, but you know what? No one's going to think twice about it. I'm totally cool with it. And now I'm starting on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and get that finished up because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. So now I have my image panel all the way stamped out, everything put together. I'm turning over the image panel. See what I just did to those Stampin' Dimensionals? I grabbed my paper piercer and kind of stamped them or took that and pressed down the dimensionals. That is going to help me peel them up really, really easy. I learned this little trick from Shelly Godby, and she's a stampinsmiles.com fantastic lady. Love her videos. And even though I do have this sped up, look how quick it goes, just getting those on and being able to pull them off of the backing like that from the dimensionals. You want to put one in the middle. I don't like saggy cards. I don't like saggy anything for that matter. But look how easily I'm able to pop those off when I did that little trick that Shelly showed me. So I'm going to go ahead and get those off. We're going to turn them over and then get them on top of our card. I'm going to pop these on now. I want to center it up, top to bottom, left to right. The designer series paper will help you. This will go through the mail with only one stamp on it. And that's the beauty of this card. So we're just going to keep on mass producing here. Okay, I have all of my cards done now. In my Misty on the left, you can see I have an entire card open. I have some Encore Gold ink there. Stampin' Up! had it many years ago. And that is going to be our inside sentiment. Super easy. I'm just going to keep on inking up the inside of the card, doing my little steamroller thing. And once again, keep on mass producing. And you can see how quick and easy this goes. Now that we have all of our cards done, I'm grabbing back in that old olive and I need to go ahead and decorate the inside of the card just like I did the front with the leaves and the holly berries again. And here is our stack of 10 cards. That is the inside. And they are so adorable. They were so easy to make too. So we hope that you join our challenge this week at thepapercraftcrew.com. Once again, I'm Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. And the envelope. I put just a holly berry in the corner. You might get a shot of that. Maybe at the end, but that's what our cards look like. And they were so easy to do. And you can use different colors and so many options. We really hope that you like our project today. And like I said, these were so easy to make and they were actually fun. Didn't feel like a chore or anything like that. Mass production is the best way, easiest way to make Christmas cards and everything. So once again, we really appreciate your support and participation. And we hope that you like us and follow us on social media. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos for myself and for the papercraftcrew.com. So God bless and we will see you next week.